Hello, I'm Evan. And I'm Paul. And we're members of the Gulf Coast Spirit Society. Today we're going to be tasting Corazon Old 22. So the interesting thing about this, as I put on my glasses, <laughs> is that this was aged at least 22 months in barrels which once held whiskey aged 22 years or more and it distinctively says buffalo trace so and so 22 months would qualify as an añejo as an añejo añejo is anything between a year and three years um anything over three years old would be considered an extra añejo uh, up to right under a year would be a repo and then uh, Blanco has never been aged in oak at all. So basically. And Repo is usually says Reposado. Reposado, right? yeah. yeah. Um, so this is interesting, man. This is a uh, part of their expressions uh, lineup and um, old 22, 22-year-old 22 whiskey so, barrels. 22-year-old Buffalo Trace. At like, least so, 22 years old is what it says. So my uh, theory on that is that it either has to be a Buffalo Trace experimental collection, which there's a couple I can think of that were that high, mm -hmm. or it would have to be uh, Peppy Van Winkle 23. So 22 months, man, that's almost two years. Yeah. So that's pretty solid for a, for a tequila and uh, 22 year old so I don't know if that helps it or takes away from it I don't know if it has too much been taken out from the barrels you know or is does it have a lot of whiskey influence so let's find out yeah <laughs> yeah I mean the you have to imagine before drinking it that it's gonna impart a decent amount of oakiness it's a little pale kind of looks like a, like a white wine almost Yeah, which with agave. Yeah. So I've not. So my experience with uh, agave spirits, tequila mostly, mm -hmm. has only uh, <laughs> recently grown since uh, you've let me try some of uh, your tequilas. I bef before that I was not much of a fan of anything agave because the. A lot of times the vegetal uh, taste of tequilas that I've tried mm -hmm. were real big turnoff. Yeah. But it's it's like with bourbons, you know. A lot of times your early ex uh, exposure to bourbons, American whiskey, whatever, you know, with is Jack or Jim. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's the same with uh, tequila is Jose. Yeah. You're, you're going to be hitting the Cuervo Gold. You're going to be pounding you know. it with a lime and mm -hmm. salt you know that doing nonsense. shots and things yeah now one interesting thing about that now you, you mentioned like cuervo gold and all that stuff though that would be classified as a mixto which means that it only has to be 51 percent agave to be called tequila okay okay so it's always important to look for 100 percent agave tequila ah. so that that's uh you know, the other one's going to be mixed with neutral green spirits. And as you've noticed that some of the um, more refined uh, tequilas actually have, taste nothing like one of those, you know, mixtos. No, I, um, it really uh, kind of surprised me <laughs> where some of these even slightly it's just on yeho where it's mm -hmm. just a couple of years age in a barrel uh the difference that it makes compared to what most people think or their experience with tequila mm -hmm. is night and day i mean it, it really did change my mind on yeah. on agave spirit so anyway so let's know this man now um totally different from yeah oh man that that's most good <laughs> See, I'm just getting like almost a little mintiness uh, 
a bunch of citrus and just like it's almost like baked fruit, you know? Yeah, I I get all of that actually. Yeah. Even as a <laughs> a noob mm-hmm. uh, tequila guy, yeah, I uh, yeah. There's there really is a decent complexity if you take yeah. time to notice it. And you're gonna notice it. It's much sweeter than a whiskey, you know. Much sweeter. You're not gonna get like malty flavors. No heavy or oak any or oak anything. like that. You know. Mm. Another thing about tequilas, they're generally lower proof. They're generally 80, you know, below 90 proof. I think this yeah. one, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, this, this one's one, 80. Is it, is it 80? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, they're generally a little softer. Yeah. So Man, you can really, really savor nice, it, you know? Yeah. Yeah, you can, uh, It's you know, it's not baking your palate. You can kind of let it yeah. swirl around a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you're right with the sweeter notes. I actually get, honestly, I do think I get a little bit, not as much of the oakiness. You know, with the with the 22 year old cash, you would think you would get, a, you know, even with tequila. Again, as a as a novice, you would think that would translate, but I really don't get a lot of the oakiness. But I do yeah. get some of the vanilla. Mm-hmm. I th- think that comes from the uh, the bourbon cast. Yeah. Oh yeah, I see now I'm getting more citrus, like lemon and, and or like lemon zest. I, I really am over the last few months with my experience with um, tequila, I'm starting to appreciate that agave nose. Mm-hmm. It, it really is um, interesting. Yeah. Well anyway, so let's get into the palate. Yeah. It's... um. As a bourbon drinker, there's a lot to like here. I, I do find, I don't find as much oak influence, but I really do find a vanilla influence that has to Definitely. come from that that Buffalo Trace That barrel. is very tasty, man. As far as premium tequilas go, I think this sits among some of the better ones that I've had. And it definitely has a nice story to go with it. Well, yeah, and because I mean, it's just, I know the longer this is, it sits, the more it just opens up. And I know this is añejo and not extra añejo, but like a lot of the more premium extra añejos are like a lot, <laughs> like a yeah, lot more than this. Absolutely. And and to me, this ranks up there with a lot of those barrel aged like extra añejos that you've had me try. Mm-hmm. For sure. Yeah, it's, it's really good. Mm. Yeah, see that's, that definitely has some whiskey barrel influence. That vanilla really comes through. Stores that get store picks of Buffalo Trace, they get offered yeah. to do their own Corazon in their Buffalo Trace barrel. So, you know, I know there's been some local stores that have done Buffalo Trace barrels. So I'm really hoping that one of them chooses to partake in that in that program where they use their Buffalo Trace barrel to age their own Corazon. Yeah, with, uh, I uh, mean, tequila. it's like a double store pick. That yeah, is, that's that's real interesting. And it's real smart on Sazerac's part, but it yeah. is a really um, interesting uh thing that a company can offer because mm-hmm. i mean as far as i know nobody else is doing that because yeah. i know it's offered but i've never actually seen one yet so i'm hoping That's somebody pulls question. the trigger on I that i think <laughs> i've seen it online somewhere but definitely really? nowhere locally no. no not even in texas i don't think i've seen that before man mm. just that it's like drinking a dessert, man. There's yeah, there's <laughs> no harshness whatsoever. If you if your opinion of tequila relates to some drunken night with shots of Jose, <laughs> this is No. The a whole different world from that. This is there's zero harshness whatsoever. There's no alcohol nothing, burn whatsoever. Nothing. This is very easy to sip on. There's great flavors. I mean, 
there's a lot to like in this. I, I really, <laughs> you know, it's funny because a lot of bourbon drinkers these days that have kind of been into it for a while are looking for ways to branch out mm -hmm. because of the craziness of the scene. And I've been going much more in the brandy side of things, and I know a lot of people are going in the rum side of things, mm -hmm. but I can tell you the the tequilas that you've like exposed me to mm -hmm. has really got me interested in tequila and agave spirits in general. Sure. I've, I've really definitely come become more interested in it and, and yeah. when I, even when I go to bars in Houston there's there's a couple times where I've asked for interesting yeah. tequilas yeah I mean because I have some that are finished in sauterne barrels <laughs> I have some that are finished in Napa Valley wine barrels mm. um, I wish I could find something that's done like in a cognac or armagnac barrel oh um, that would be nice but, uh, but yeah I'm gonna keep looking you know I mean it's it's the variety is really good and I think the Agave spirit, it's very flexible, especially with sweeter flavors like the sauterne yeah. and, the, and the wine, that it takes very well to that. Um, but even with just straight up bourbon uh, barrels, I mean, it's, it is just, what amazes me is like you said earlier, is the, how easy it is to drink, mm. you know, and it's dangerously easy to drink. <laughs> That's definitely sure because mm -hmm. it, it's not like, like I said, where you're mm -hmm. knocking back shots and doing salt and lime, where mm -hmm. in you're getting trashed doing that. This is because it is so easy to drink, and yeah, and flavorful. I mean, oh, it's like yeah, it's like here on this last sip I had, man. I, I mm -hmm. tons of vanilla. I get. Just the, some really nice citrus. Yeah, citrus um, for sure. Like honey. Just really good dessert flavors, man. Um, this might be another good one to pair up with a cigar too. Yeah. Uh, Maybe something a little spicy. A I, spicy cigar. I haven't had any of the other uh, Corazon uh, expression series, um, but... This one is uh, is really good. Out of the tequilas that I've tried, this is definitely up there for sure. Yeah. All right, man. Well, Corazon Old 22. This stuff is outstanding. Definitely.